Well, Happy New Year, folks. I'd like to thank you right away for joining me on this brand new year. I know we're a little bit into it already, but that doesn't really matter. Hope you all have are having a good new year so far and looking forward to things that will happen in 2023 here, as I am. I'm hoping my channel will grow and things, you know. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Um, first of all, before we get too far into the video, I'd like to say this, this will be a little bit of a different video today because I got Christmas presents for my YouTube channel. Um, first of all, I got this cool shirt here. Um, this was done by Six Dollar Shirts. Um, really liked it, obviously, because we do hot sauce on here, which we'll get into that in a middle bit. Um, should probably pull back and go like this so you can take a quick look at it. Um, I would like to kind of, for not formally, but j just kind of complain a little bit because, you know, I got this little thing that you can tag them in and on their social media stuff, and there's no, no YouTube symbol. And I just kind of like to complain about that a little bit. So if anybody from Six Dollar Shirts happens to see this, you know, you guys should get a YouTube channel or channel, whatever, you know, so I can tag you guys. Um, because this is for a $50 gift certificate and, well, I can't really participate. That just probably either means that they either need to get a YouTube or I need to expand to other platforms, which I probably do. But don't need all that. But today, because of Christmas, ugh, I got some Christmas presents for the channel. You'll probably never guess what they are, being that it's hot sauce related. I mean that this channel does hot sauce, you know? But, be that as it may, I'm gonna kinda open up, show you guys some of what I got. Um, probably move this to the side here. Got this, thought it was really cool. This is a dynamite. It is a hot sauce dynamite stick. It has the cool little thing, um, or a cool little thing that wick is what it's supposed to be. Um, so we have that, we have, get that out of here, we have Bravado Spice Co, Sereno and Basil, this is a hot sauce, it's also vegan, it has a medium heat and gluten free, for those of you that care, so, we got this other one, this is Benito's Habanero Infused Maple Syrup, so, this ought to be pretty Good, I'm hoping. I'm, I'm rather quite interested to try this stuff. I have to make some pancakes. Okay. This is um, Casablanca Market. This is a Moroccan, this is more Moroccan Harissa. I don't know. I'm sorry. I suck at languages and reading things like that. Um, supposed to be spicy hot. Ooh, it's kosher. It's kosher. Kosher, guys. Anyways, um, so we got that one. Yeah, get that out of here. This, this is herb infused hot sauce. This is, if you can get it, this is Hank sauce. I love how they have, I, I know it's a type of fish it's supposed to be. I'm not good with fish. I don't know what it is. Try this on beef, chicken, pork, fish, dinosaurs, pizza, pretzels, eggs, and soup. Interesting. Gives food attitude. Yes, just what I want to have is food with some attitude that talks back to me. And last of all, this is not going to be happening tonight, we have the new One Chip Challenge from 2022. So, um, ooh, turned your tongue blue. I did not notice that before. But anyway, we're going to have to do this at some point, so hopefully you'll tune back in to watch that video. But tonight, hopefully you'll tune back in to watch that video. But tonight, we're not going to be doing a one chip challenge. Um, what do you want to say? But we're not going to do the 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 syrup because you know we don't have um, um, any pancakes or waffles or French toast to put it with. Um, I think we're gonna try. We're gonna try this, I think, tonight. Okay, so, the Casablanca Market is what we are trying tonight. Okay, I suck at opening jars tonight. Good thing we have our handy dandy new shirt. There we go, got it. I think it was under sealed good. Smells 
little bit, it smells like peppers, you know. Um, hmm. We'll add flavor to everything, professional pasta sandwiches, grains, rice, hummus, pizza, meats, and eggs. Hmm. Maybe I should press mix. Does it not have ingredients? Stir well before each use, refrigerate after opening. Did I miss? Oh, ingredients. Red chili peppers, olive oil, lemon, sea salt. Ooh, that's lemon. That explains why it almost has like, it doesn't have a citrusy flavor, but a little bit of a smell. And give it a tad bit of a mix. Yes, I am crazy. I am using a fork to do this. Whoa. That, whoa. That's a roller coaster. Hmm. Wow. Ooh. I like that. So it went from having like, almost like, it wasn't a sour, but there was like that tang to almost salty. And then it was a heat. Like it was just from one thing to the next with that roller coaster. Wow. That was cool. Yeah, that, that's different. Hey, and also part of my Christmas present, we got some pickled herring. I'm going to throw this on some pickled herring here. Because, I don't know, I like pickled herring and who I am, and so, you know. Throw a piece on the plate. Kind of interesting with the pickled herring. Um, the, for clarification, this is pickled herring and wine sauce, but that don't matter. Um, just from tasting this, I think this would be really good on eggs. Like, I've had hot sauce on my eggs before, and so that's not. <coughs> Excuse me, that's not like the first time I've had that. But I think based on how like this, the flavor it has. It could be really good on there. And because it's not, you know, it's not like a hot sauce. I don't know if you can really see this in the camera at all. But it's it's kind of, well, obviously it's thicker and it's not just runny. You know, there's some actual substance to it. You know, it's like you can see the seeds and different things in it. It's really, yeah. Like, I could see putting this on eggs. Definitely would not put it on a sandwich, but... <coughs> oh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Apparently it does a good job of getting caught in your throat. <clears throat> but it's not overly hot. Like, no, I would put it probably on about a level of Frank's hot sauce for me. If that was, you know, the levels of stuff we're going with. You know, but I could see how, yeah, you put this on like, ooh, some pasta, some eggs. Yeah, that would be pretty good here. But, yeah. So, shout out to my sister, who was nice and provided this next couple videos for me. Um, thank you, Jenny, um, for getting this for me. And this is pretty good. I look forward to actually putting it on other foods and actually eating it now. Um, just figured I'd get to show you guys about it a little bit. I did not make a mess. I hope you can't see that on the camera. But yes, thank you for the shirt. Also... You guys should check out, this is, they're not sponsoring, they're not endorsing this video or anything, just something cool that I got that I like that I'm saying, giving them a shout out. Check out $6 shirts. They got other ones besides this that are really cool. Um, they got some dog shirts, some sick figure shirts, and just different funny little quote shirts like that. So Scrub Nuggets, we'll see you next time, and stay spicy.